months after road rehabilitation works were stalled on the island of Anagata, the government is now confirming that the delay was due to technical difficulties with payments. Last month, concerns were raised after Anagata Representative Dr. Hubert O'Neill disclosed that Minister for Communication and Works Mark Vantable told him that the delay was a result of non-payment to the project contractor. During a press briefing on Tuesday, September 13th, Minister Vantable said the payment process is sometimes lengthy and he too has concerns. What happens with these? The, the contractor does his work, he submits his, um, his claim for funds. Uh, the loan funds are drawn down at that point to pay the claim. And sometimes this process takes a little longer than even we would hope for um, to, as it goes through the, um, the various ministries, um, Ministry of Finance and the um, Social Security Board's funding process and so on. So that was what the, the delay. The funds was there, just the process took longer than we had hoped for. Minister Van Poole, while he could not recall the amount of money needed to finish the Anagata Road project, insisted that funds are available to complete it. I don't believe it's a money issue because it's part of a loan-funded program. There have been some technical issues with uh, the provision of material and so on that we've been working through, and I believe we are pretty much ready to restart that program. Um, the Anagata Road is part of our um, loan program that we have to fund it, and we're going to complete it in a very short time. The road project on Anagata is one of several that were scheduled to be completed within the $16 million loan government borrowed from the Social Security Board shortly before general election in 2015.